Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, it's, it's winter time. So winter time for me is a time where I assess my game and see where I may be able to pick up some yardage. So my club speed has always been hovering around about the 110 to the 112 mark. At the very most, I can swing about 112 miles an hour. So it had been suggested to me to give the super speed overtraining system a try. So I am going to document the next three months of me going through the super speed training program to try and pick up some distance through some overtraining and get some more club speed. So I'm really excited to test this theory out and see what happens. So with super speed, there are three different weights. So the green is the lightest weight, the blue is the medium, and the red is the heaviest weight. So there is a training protocol on their website where you go through a training process three to four times a week. We don't want to do this every day because we want to make sure the body has a chance to relax. Though so it only takes about five minutes as well. So I'm going to go through the process today of my very first training session. I have never done any super speed training in my life. So this will be interesting to test out my athleticism as well when I have to switch that club over and do some reverse swings too. So I'm excited to test this. To start off, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit some shots with my driver. I'm already completely warmed up, so I've been warming up for 30 minutes. I'm going to hit some baseline numbers, see where my club speed's at. And then at the end of this session, what I will do is I will hit five more drives to see if I initially do pick up any more swing speed after day one. But I'm thinking about this as long term. Long term, my goal is to hit the ball further. Everyone wants to hit the ball further, so I'm trying to find a way to do that there as well. If you do like this content, make sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up and click like, and also comment. We do really appreciate the comments on our channel here too. So I'm going to get after it and hit some shots, go through the training process, and then see if there's any initial changes. Before the very first super speed training program session, I'm going to get some baseline numbers. So I'm going to hit five or six drives to take a look at my swing speed as a good starting point to start this program. Before I hit these five shots, I did warm up for 30 minutes just to get myself completely warm so I can get some good swing speed numbers. So I'm going to begin the training program with the Super Speed Golf. First I've got the light training, A, this is the green, there's a green, there's a blue and a red. I need to do three swings with my dominant side and non-dominant side. I'm going to start off here with the light and get go through this training process. Okay, next is the medium level. This is hard. And then finally, the heaviest level. Whew, I am, uh, I'm sweating here already. <laughs> this is quite the workout. Uh, so the next step is the step through method. So for this next method, I actually have to step through and hit three swings with each side, both dominant and non-dominant side. 
So this will test my athleticism. As I mentioned, it will test my athleticism a little bit here. And then finally, the heavy weight doing the step through method. And then to finish off the first training session, I do three complete max swings with the light speed. And then we're going to jump and see what happens to my swing speed. OK, I'm a worn out here. But before I'm completely worn out, I'm going to hit five more drives and then take a look and see what my swing speeds changed right off the bat. This is going to be a documentation over the next three months, but I'm initially just going to see what happens right off the bat. That one was smoked. First swing of the day, well, first swing after doing the session, I almost got my ball speed over 170. I have not got over 170 yet with my driver, so. Good start. There it is, over 170. That is absolutely incredible. Well, I can see a lot more distance. I'm going to excited to take a look at the numbers and see what the results have told us after just even day one session. Well, my, my heart rate is still pumping pretty good here after going through the session and then hitting five more drives with uh, a lot more club speed, which is right off the bat, I was really surprised to pick up that club speed instantly. I'm excited to see how this progresses over the next three months to see if I can hit the ball a little bit further. But let's take a look real, real quickly, just look at the numbers. So pre this super speed training, so before I did the super speed training day one, my club speed was hovering around about 110.7. A lot of you golfers will have noticed that my club speed, I really struggled to get past 112. So it was, my club speed was hovering around what we'd normally see with during our shoots. And my ball speed was hovering around about I normally see about 166. Very efficient golf swing, 1.50 smash factor. I mean, great numbers overall for how fast that I was swinging the club. Um, looking at club speed, so my club speed, I almost gained three miles an hour of club speed directly after completing the super speed training session. So this is actually something maybe I might even consider doing before I even tee off on rounds 
maybe as, as my warm-up. So that's something that I would incorporate in. If we look at the numbers, my ball speed was three miles an hour faster. My club speed was three miles an hour faster. So I picked up quite a bit more distance there. My efficiency dropped from 1.5 to 1.49. Now we're talking a very minimal drop, but we'll notice efficiency did slightly drop. When you're swinging faster, it is harder to hit the middle of the club face there. Um, but across the board, my numbers were excellent. I almost averaged carry distance over 300 yards, 298.4. That's the highest average carry distance that I have ever seen. My ball speed, my ball speed numbers, I had two swings there where I got my ball speed over 170. I have not been able to get my ball speed with a driver over 170 ever. 171.4, so wow, that impressed me. The carry on that shot with 300.5 going 327.7. Very, very good numbers. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, so really big difference there to see if you're taking a look at the numbers here. I've expanded the differences for you to see. We'll notice that my attack angle was identical. 4.6 versus 4.7 there on average. Um, so nothing changed. My club path was about the same. Interesting that my height went up a little bit more when I was swinging a little bit faster, but really interesting to see right off the bat to see some increases right away. Um, one thing I did notice is the ball did not curve as much to the left when I was swinging faster. It, on average, I was curving the ball 24 feet to the left pre the training, but post the training was a little bit less curve. I want to touch on the dispersion here. We'll notice the white circle that was pre-super speed training. I had five there that was pretty consistent. So what I'm going to do is I actually only hit five with the, in the post session. Is I'm just going to take this one away, so we can see how my dispersion pattern has changed quite a bit. So pre I was a little bit more consistent. Those white dots are a lot closer together, and post. You can see the dispersion pattern was a little bit wider. If you're swinging faster, it is harder to control that club face. So it's something my body is going to have to get used to for sure. So this is uh, a great eye opener right off the bat. I'm excited to bring you guys through the process over the next three months of me going through the super speed training and seeing how much club speed I can pick up over time. I hope you enjoyed this content. Thanks for watching.